All right, for our next topic, we are going to revisit the concept of middleware. Earlier in the series, we learned how to add the logger middleware in our vanilla JavaScript application. In this video, let's see how to do the same in our React application. And to be quite honest, there is not much difference from what we have already seen. What changes though is that we will now be looking at the logs in the browser console. All right, let's get started. The first step is to install the package. So in the terminal, run the command npm install redux hyphen logger. The second step is to import it in our store.js file. For our example, we import the default logger. So import logger from redux logger. The third step is to apply this logger middleware. For that, we first import the apply middleware function from Redux. Then to the create store function, we pass in a second parameter. Apply middleware. And what is our middleware? It is logger. And that is pretty much it. Let's save the file and head to the browser to see the logger middleware in action. The middleware basically logs information related to the Redux store. So to view the logs, we need to open the console. As you can see, the logs are empty at the moment. I'm going to start off by clicking on the buy cake button, which will present us with the first set of logs. You can see that we dispatched the buy cake action at this particular timestamp. And for that action, we get the Redux state before the state transition and after the state transition. We had 10 cakes, which changed to nine cakes. Now, if I click on buy ice cream, the same set of logs would be displayed. But of course, this time, the number of ice creams would have changed. So that is how you apply a middleware in your React Redux application. And you might find that there is no difference from Redux to React Redux in the way we apply the logger middleware. Which is also why I insisted that we learn Redux before learning React with Redux. Now this logger is great, but in the next video, let's take a look at another great tool, which is I would say 9 out of 10 times essential if you're building applications with Redux. I'll see you guys in the next one.